Where one falls, another rises. Coming up. I haven't up. seen that one in a while. Yapsor, the great Dyer's chase, and so many couriers! Fold. And he will go down to the tower, so I guess technically not a first blood. Inkswell comes in, does connect. Boxy's there with the remnant. I don't know if they'll have the damage for this. Instead, they'll try to turn onto Boxy, but Zai takes the stroke. It's going to be really close, but Boxy gets it with the stick charges. Yapsor trying to body block, wants the counter kill here, but maybe a tall order. Good dissimulate. Fissure not going to go out. Now Yapsor on the run, barely makes it out of the remnant. But these kills in the first 10 minutes, they are worth almost nothing. Nisha, though, as I say that, he's going to get shut down level 5. This is the time to kill him. Nice use of the illusion rune, but unfortunately, only going to buy him a couple oh, of seconds. On, you're dead already. Like, the value in killing Storm there is oh, slowing down Storm's game and messing him up. It is not in you getting much of a game. They are going to move into the jungle and uh, Look at these stacks, stacks dude. These are all stacked. It's a big play. You can see Secret there. The supports are like, no, please. My retirement plan. Taiga gets swapped up top. Zai's going in. So they find the kill there. Not done yet, though. Zai on the run. Boxy steps forward, finds the kill. Now down by the Roche pit. They want Insania, but not the easiest target. Monkey King's joined the party. He's going to bring them both down. There's one. Make it two. And that is three on the sideline for Secret. Smoke behind Matu and hope that Liquid engage on him with a... Uh... Uh, a force that's not quite powerful enough. They're going to leave with the Fisher. I don't think they can. Oh, oh, wow. The Zip. Zip into a magic missile. They've got some lockdown, bud. Don't forget, yeah. Matu's got the Dragon Tail as well. Now another swap. They're going on to Insania. This Oracle is level six. Not going to waste Dyer's the false promise, though. Guaranteed dead. He's gone from getting shut down to shutting him down and back and forth a couple times. And now Bloodstone not that far away. Liquid looking for more. Dyer's Moving up to the high ground. And it's actually secret on the hunt. They face check the high ground, and it's going to cost Taiga his life. Maybe even Boxy does get off the assimilate, and they don't want to dive it. Although the bear is back, and he's got the desolator. A potential power spike for Liquid. The rapid with the helm creep. Sets are coming. Stunned up. Storm zipping on in, zipping across the way. They're going to find another. It's Mickey. Down comes Ignis, and they have stuns for days, Trent. Every single one of their heroes has some kind of disable, and you can feel it. They know this bear was just resummoned. They want to bring him down again, but they don't have the stun lock this time. And again, just remarking at how easy they made it look. Like, look at that. Oh, maybe we'll see a fight here. Capsular on the high ground, initiated on, but does have Zai nearby. It might be a tough fight for Secret. They're going to have to let the Shaker go. Although they do jump in, they make it a one for one, but Mickey's ult flies. And now Zai will get left behind. That makes it a two for one, favoring Liquid. Shaker that's going to have to sit in some side lane to farm up this Blink Dagger versus a Monkey King and a, uh, a Grim uh, or a, uh, a Void Spirit. It's like so uh -huh. hard to do that. Liquid hanging around in enemy territory. Druid all about to expire. Puppy does go down. They have an awkward fight in the river now, and it's not looking good for Secret. Nisha barely lives as he zips away. Nice now Matu, Matu completely surrounded, and he's going to get finished off. But he uh, he jumped into the Aether Pole to save Nisha. Ah, OK. Sacrificial action. Yeah. Looking for more, though. They're going to find Yapsor mid. Yeah, get that gold. And Sandy's actually going to find Zai as he puts a ward down. Zai just Zai. plays so confidently. He acts like there's five heroes behind him, and they were still pretty far back. Well, close enough. Nisha jumps in to grab the Oracle, and now these team fights look a little easier. Puppy does drop the Ignis, though, off the mark this time. They're trying to focus the bear. Grimstroke drops the ult. Spells now flying through. Nisha in big trouble. Stun, trying to heal up. The Bloodstone, not enough. So one for two is secret over commit. Now Matsu going to be on the run. Gonna be a tall order to get out of this one. They use the Yules on the Boxy. Boxy's actually pretty low. It was his own self Yules. Ponies don't connect. Yaps are on the low ground. Like I'd love to make a dunk happen, but I don't think this is the play. Roche, and he Roche, backs Roche, out. Roche. Roche. <laughs> do they know they're right behind them? They do now. Boxy jumps in. Counter initiated on. Oh, Boxy. He botches the initiation. Nisha does get stunned up. Beard, but there's a Yule Scepter. Can Nisha get out of this? Yes, he can. What? Zip up to the high ground. 
Coddle ult does come down, but not super effective. The BKB from Mikke works out well. Nisha now feared in towards them, does get brought down first. Matu front lines, drops the stun, wants to find something here. False Promise is available though, and Sania just walks away. Not looking like a good fight for Secret. Guy down pretty low. Matu still getting chased down by the bear. Puppy getting soloed by Boxy. It's all these little fights, and Secret are just getting ripped apart. Puppy loses his TP with the Yules. Zai now going to get focused down and brought down. That's three on the sideline for Puppy. You know, it's it's yeah. all his show. Puppy's team here, uh, and now Yapsor, he's going to get caught. That's going to be a four for one. Somehow Yapsor does manage to live. I guess they were short on damage. The evasion, too, of the DK. Boxy, are you going to commit for this? Oh, I think so. But are they going to be able to get the counter kill? They will. In comes the Ignis. And MK also drops his ulti. But they Look do get Zai though. with a root. And Zai is definitely done for. That'll make this a one for one. This time, an OK trade for Secret. Certainly better than that Oracle Storm they got last time. Uh, DD Monkey, pretty scary. Still eight seconds left on the BKB. They are going to jump in, though. Boxy down low. Eon Disc. Not available for another 10. Grimstoke, though, pops the ult. Now the storm's locked down. Even through the BKB, Nisha just dies. Now Matu going to be somewhat left behind, and he doesn't hit for much. They're going to try to chase him down. He does finish off Boxy, but still that double damage on Mikke. Dude. A little bit of time left. He hit Nisha for 1,000. <laughs> now the buyback from Nisha. This is a scary fight for Secret. He slapped with that Echo Saber, and that's why Nisha's HP just died. Through BKB, that'll do it. Now Coikless Bear goes down. I'll give you that. It, it just seems like such a weird stat to have on that item. Yeah. Timeless Relic, though, gets picked up. Storm will uh, be happy to grab that instead. Oh, top lane now. Maybe some initiation. Boxy jumps forward, finds the Shaker. Ignis comes down, but it's a good dunk. Gets the kill onto Insania. Yapsor trying to live, and he actually does. Now getting healed back up thanks to the Purifying Flames. Taiga falls second. Buyback now from both supports on Liquid. Man, that was some big brain stuff there from Zai. So instead of just trying to swap out Yapsor and basically sacrificing himself, he gets the vision further forward with the wave and swaps in a second hero. He brings the Oracle over to Yapsor. So even though Yapsor is still getting like chained up, now instead of Yapsor just like wasting his Echo Slam or something, he creates a better Echo. As now, did he get the Arcane Rune? He didn't. Uh oh, BKB from Nisha has to be used here. Remember, Nisha did buy back in two fights ago. Yeah, and he bottled that Arcane Rune. Mikke couldn't stop him. So now they have Storm Arcane. And a storm eggs just now completed. I've been wanting and that's with the debuff. So it's a plus 25% duration on the pull. Oh, shit. And so if they try and roast right now, <laughs> now there's no echo for 65 seconds. Come put some pressure on the liquid as they jump right in with Mickey. Dude, they try to hop on the puppy, but he's got an Eon Disc and a Ghost Scepter. I don't know if that's the target. Now Matsu, perhaps Matsu's in dead. trouble. No ultimate. Dragon form not going to save him anyway. Nisha jumps in. Soulbind is there. And it leaps again. Nisha and Zai down. 115 seconds on that Storm Spirit. Hungry for more. Boxy jumps in onto Puppy. Ghost Scepter, Eon Disc, both used. Or Staff, Puppy's not going to live. Triple kill now for Mickey. And why does it get plus 30% move speed <laughs> when that DK is already so fast? You're right. It does get 30% movement speed. Oh, Storm stunned up, stunned again. Soulbind, Nisha's is just done. Does have a buyback. This is looking tough for Secret. That's going to be another lane of barracks now. Liquid one step away from taking game one in this group stage best of three. A hell of an opener for this series. Now they jump in. Zai, he's the first target. Silence brought down. They force the buyback from Nisha. Big Vortex connects on three. Follow up dunk. This might be the deep fight they were waiting for. BKBs get popped. Nisha alive. Swap from Zai. They're going to try to chase down Mick A. No more BKB. Now the stun train has arrived. They're going to make it three. And they're still hunting. They want more. Boxy in the trees. Oh, guys. Interrupted. Eon Disc is there. But without a TP, there will be no escape. 
That's going to be four down on the side of Liquid. Secret are down, but they're not out yet. Let's see. I'll Google it, guys. I'm on it. No, I, I know they changed the cooldown reduction stuff to be somehow multiplicative. Uh-oh, Boxy, he's going to get initiated on. This could start a big fight. Storm zipping in the back line. Right now, Liquid very spread out. It seems to be favoring Secret. They find Insania, but now it's the Venge that's locked down, rooted and feared. That's going to be a one for nil to start things off, and now they're going to pursue. Uh, Soulbind comes down, but Yapsor with the dunk finds the counter kill onto Mickey. The damage is there, and now they want Boxy. Stuns Galore, he gets crit on down, as Matsu gets another kill. That's a double for this DK with his fresh Daedalus. Yeah, buildings we do not matter right now. It's just buybacks. But, you know, 55 minutes, this is the point where one bad team fight could cost you the game on either side. Nisha needs this Lincoln to be huge. He's died so many times. Midding, and here it is. Secret jump in, but the bear destroying Zai. No buyback available there, and it's going to be a 5v4 around the pit. That's the big save they need for the potential Soulbind. Nisha, Nisha even has the gem right now. He needs that space when he dives in. They're trying to eye this up. Now the Hex from Storm as he jumps in onto Boxy. Uh, Boxy lives through it. Secret just trying to slow down this Roche for now. DK may be caught with a follow-up B there. Boxy coming back in. The DK is very tanky. Pops the BKB, now starting to return damage. Nisha with the Vortex, but Soulbind flies through. Looking like a rough fight for Secret as they start to retreat. He echoed Koik on Taiga, but it wasn't enough damage. The two of them still survived despite being in the mud golem pit. Oh, now the now rundown. Bobby. Beard pulled back the other way with the remnant. There's his Eon disc. Puppy running out of cooldown. Another blind. Another fissure. This Connell trying to make the great escape, but it will not work. Now another two hero plus bear vortex. No follow up there and a buyback from Puppy. Another good fight for Liquid. <laughs> Matsu wants the bear though, and they do get it. So that's going to be forcing out a summon. That's going to be a potential two minutes now if they can get this oh. bear. Jump forward, another fight breaks out. Vortex on two. Yapsor still alive as he makes it back. DKB popped by Mickey, the Elder Dragon. Oh, Three everything on Matsu. Again. Matsu not going to live through this. The bear just does too much damage. My There's the buyback from Matsu now. Liquid getting big games from these engagements. This is just getting absurd how long things are taking. It's so 40 seconds for another Echo Slam, though. 20 seconds for another Will O Wisp. And Taiga still holds that Soulbind. He has just been locked on keeping that thing for Storm. They send Zai right in. All right, a bold maneuver as he walks back into the Resonant Pulse. Zai going to be in some trouble. Stick charges, has another swap, but there's the Wukong's command. Storm jumps onto the backside, grabs two or three with the Vortex. He's got a slot open. He wants that Aegis. Cheese, the synth, any of it will be good. Nisha jumps they in jump now. In Secret trying to finish off Roche, and they might get it. The Aegis is too much. They've gotten it. This Aegis goes to Matu, though the Roche kill actually goes to the Dire. Now Boxy saved by the Eon Disc. They won't be able to save Insania. Things have quickly turned, and now it's Liquid. They're going to have to fight a 4v5. Long range zip from Nisha, looking for more. Mickey. Oh no, he jumps now just at the wrong time. Gets Hex Tree, gets broken. Nisha's going to find him, and this Monkey King should be dead. Does have a BKB, but they're going to chain lock him. Can they kill him in time before the BKB? Oh, and they do. Oh my god. Two down, no buyback on the side of Liquid. Well, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Damn. For a moment, I thought Vortex was one of those you target it on somebody and then it's everyone around him, but it's just an AOE on the ground. You're right. Uh oh, Zai, there's the Soulbind. They don't save it for the storm. Is this going to come back to cost them? They get a quick pick on Zai, so it seems worth. No, you're right. It's good before the Agnums, but then the Agnums changes. Yeah, them. the Ags ruins it. Okay. Yeah. The Book of the Dead's good for that. It pushes strikingly fast. Oh, Foxy as Matu jumps in with the blink. The Fallen Sky at work. Zai now jumps in. False Promise used on himself from Insania. Another spread out fight. Not looking great for Liquid, but if they can get out of dodge here, big cooldowns have been used. They pop Insania. Now Zai up in no man's land. Look for the swap down. Grabs Nisha. Did he That's just kill the target. Oh no, now the Soulbind comes. Zai. 
Oh no, the storm's down for 120. Has but look at Matu, dude. They get the die back now onto the Grimstroke. Now Storm buys back. They're gonna kill Boxy. Meanwhile, in the top lane though, are the books of the dead going to the work? No, it's just Koifa. He's got the megas. Oh, that's one bad bear trend. Koifa and the Necros doing it together. Team overcommits to get the megas, and then they've spent too many resources for the defense. Right. Right. So now, like technically, they're gonna have a four v five for ninety seconds where they could just oh try my. to all in. I mean, well, his other talent is so good, isn't it? The un unobstructed pathing in yes. Vendetta. Yeah. Wait, I don't. I don't. You can make it three hundred agi, and I don't know that I take it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Matsu mid lane. He gets swapped out by Zai. This is gonna end up being a bait, but who's gonna win the battle? Boxy. He gets stunned up. Now the false promise will keep him alive. Mickey has a double damage. Dude, he through. swapped this is way not the fight. in. That secret want to take, but he's also got Astral Step to simulate another Astral Step. Is he going to pop? Yule Scepter, False Promise. No, nope, can't save it. Boxy's down. It's a False Promise indeed, and they get the bear. Big stuff for Secret. Yup, 20 strength, 350 HP. That is insane. And now up to uh, 63 HP regen, which is also a lot. Not yeah, that it matters in the fights, but 76% physical resistance with his uh, 44 armor. Dang. All right, here it is, the jump in. Buyback used by Boxy, another very spread out fight, but it's Matu that gets hexed up. Remember, he's the one with the rapier. Yapsor lingering in the tree line, ready to play sacrificial lamb if he needs to. Jumps in, Nisha with a vortex on two. Follow up dunk, they get Boxy, that's a dieback now. It's a 5v4 for two full minutes. Can Secret find more though? Taiga doing what he can, but sort of the bears in the, base. in the back. Tier four. Oh no, tier four is indeed. Buyback from the Oracle. They're gonna come in to kill the bear. Secret do make this hold. Uh -huh. They take more structural damage. And now uh, Quake the has the, uh, the refresher oh. too. There's no easy way to jump on him, but dude, there it is. The double rapier black dragon has now Secret. Move into the pit. This, this is, is some Underlord shit. <laughs> yeah, this is Roche four or five or something. Uh, this is Aegis. Cheese Refresher. How do you split this up? Uh, I think Aegis is still on Storm. Uh, even with the DK eggs or uh, Double Rapier, I don't know if he can afford to get rid of his bots is the only problem. I kind of agree. I don't think you have the slots. And I think Storm takes the Synth. It wasn't really designed for Coddle in his current state. So that that's my main argument against of like... Dude, that's a long oh, zip. There's a big catch. There's a big catch. Big A had a Rapier. They're gonna find another. Now Tyg is in trouble. He does use a soul bind, but it's not gonna be enough. It's reflected even. Oh no, now this Oracle's gonna go down. Liquid crumbling at the seams. The rapier's still down. Surely they noticed. But meanwhile, in the mid lane, they're gonna find another maybe Eon Disc, but another swap boxy jumps back. So much mobility. Now they're gonna go in front of the quick. There's the Hex, but no man Isha up from the top of the man. Buyback's coming from Liquid if they've got him. Scorchba will fall. No buyback available on the Druid. That's two down on Liquid. This might be one of the most value coddle picks we have ever seen in terms of how much work he has done pushing out ways. He's got 43k net worth, dude. He's almost five, he almost has 600 last hits. He's at 556 right now. Like he has made holding these megas so much easier. Between him and Storm, it's almost like Secret aren't playing against megas in yeah. some ways. It doesn't really feel like a challenge. All right, Boxy's got the rapier. He went down to get it. He's coming right. home. It's a great mission. I mean, I think it was worth it. Now the glyph comes out. One tier four remaining. Matu trying to end the rest of his team, chipping away at the barracks still standing. Smoke in the base from Liquid. Oracle up in a few seconds. It's going to be a 4v5. Here comes Soulbind comes down. Does not connect on Denisha. Wukong's command uh, gets countered by Puppy's ult. Liquid aren't going to find anything. Beautiful positioning from Secret as they just break it apart. Swap onto Mikke. BKB on cooldown. Mikke going to fall again. Insania survives in the back line, but can't get off a false promise. Their and now only Secret hope is a bear push play, but he's still dead. It's, it's I over. I don't think they can do it. Secret have finally done it. 82 minutes. An epic 